Alright, so what we're going to do here is we're going to slice up this image that I created in Photoshop. It's 800 by 600 and it looks roughly like what a uh, sort of typical website might look like. So it's got at the top an area that would be usually called the header or the masthead. It's got another section that would be typically called something like the navbar with a number of individual items in it. And then it's got a couple of content areas down here that you might imagine we could put um, various kinds of text content in. So what we're going to do is cut it up into those pieces and in fact in the nav bar itself we're going to cut it into individual sections so that each one of these areas becomes a clickable hotspot and we can go to another page within the site or we could go to an external page uh, whatever we want using this as an effective button. Now I'm using uh, Adobe Photoshop CS3 for this um, if you're using CS4, this toolbar is going to look a little different, as may some of the other interface items. Uh, CS5, I would imagine, may look even still a little bit different. But all of these things are going to work basically in the same way. You might have to um, compensate a little bit for some interface changes. So the ones that I know of, I'll mention to you. There may be some in CS5 that I'm not even aware of. So at any rate, what you could do is you could go over here and take what's called the slice tool. It looks like this. Now this is uh, again, this is CS3. In CS4 the slice tool is combined with the crop tool. So what you'll need to do is click and hold on the crop tool and it'll open up and give you the choice of the slice tool or the slice select tool. Um, so I'm going to use the slice tool. And what I can do with this is just click and drag and create, as you might imagine, a slice. So there's a slice and you can see now the yellow or the gold highlight shows the edge of the slice. Slice number one, it's there in blue. And now this gray number two is everything else and the gray is a slice that's created by Photoshop automatically. So this blue one I created, what's left over, Photoshop makes into another slice uh, called slice 2. Now I could then continue on here. I could take the tool and I could draw this little piece for that button. That becomes slice 4. Okay, so now we're thinking, gee, we went from 1 to 4. What's going on there? Um, this is exactly why I don't like using the slice tool because what often happens, I'm going to zoom in and see if we can see what often happens when you're using this tool, and it did happen, is that if you don't get the cursor right at the very edge, what you'll notice is that, I'm going to just move this a little bit so you can see it, um, I started my slice before that line and so in effect Photoshop created a couple of other slices there. Now you see there's two, uh, there's bound to be a three somewhere, here's four, five, so at any rate, you can actually use the slice tool if it's a real simple image. That's going to work fine. But I find this to be kind of a pain in the butt, to be honest with you. So I'm going to do it a different way. And this is what I would recommend that you do. First, let me clear all the slices. So now we're back to where we started. And I'm going to also get this back to its original size so we can see it a little bit better. Um, so the alternative to using the slice tool is to use guides and if you have a simple rectangular layout this works great use guides to separate the area so I'm going to drag a guide from the ruler down to the top of the nav bar another one down to the bottom of the nav bar and then now I'm going to just separate these various little areas that I want to be buttons by going on the ruler on the side and dragging out a guide between artist and prints and paintings another one right on this boundary line between the two areas also catching that prints and paintings uh, another one between Edgewater Park and things to do another one here between things to do and other parks and finally one here to set off downtown 
All right, so there's all of my potential slices. So this is good. I've got these separate areas here. But what's happened is now instead of that one big slice I had, I've got a bunch of smaller ones. Here I've got two slices where I had one, and here I have four slices where I had one, or where I want to end up with one. So now we have to do a little cleaning up. Um, but in order to do that, first what we do is make these actually into slices, because they're not yet. They're just areas marked off by guides. But you'll see if we click on the slice tool there's a big button up here at the top that says slices from guides when we click that button now we've got slices everywhere the guides have marked off areas so now what I need to do is combine all of these into one which isn't too hard I go over to my tool once again and this time I want the slice select tool I'm going to click there in the first slice, hold down the shift key, and click all the rest that I want to convert. So I've got all of these selected. I want to combine them into one big slice. The way to do that is to either hold down the control key on a Mac or right click on a Mac or a PC to get the menu that will give you the option here to combine slices. So now I've combined all those into one big slice. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, I want to stay the same, but I want to combine these two. So once again, with the Slice Select tool, click, hold down the Shift key, click again, right click, combine, and again here, click, Shift, click, 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 right click, or Control click on the Mac, combine. All right, so I have now one big slice here, my separate slices for the nav bar, this area for content, this area for content, and now that I've got them all marked off, now what I need to do is go on to the next step, which will be to optimize them.